Welcome back to the channel, everyone. So today I thought we would take a look at this software that a company had, uh, they had reached out a couple of months ago, uh, asked me if I was interested in giving it a try. I get a lot of those requests, believe it or not. And so uh, it wasn't until I saw some of my contemporaries, some buddies of mine, uh, that I had used this software. Some of them made videos and some of them just talked about it on social media or when I've talked to them. And I've asked people about the software and they've all said great things. So. I gave it a try uh, with a recent shoot I had uh, about a week, two ago, uh, and I found it beneficial enough to actually make a video here because I believe that some of y'all could put this software to work and it will help you with your workflow. And when I look at something like this, I'm asking myself several different questions. One, is it professional? I mean, can I get in here and dial in what I want? Or I just want to make sure it's not one of those one-click amateur type softwares, and this is definitely not. Uh, this is pretty powerful. I can uh, use all kinds of, I can access all kinds of settings in here. So it's pretty close to a one-stop shop. Uh, and if, in the minimum, it's a great starting point uh, if you need to then take a file into Photoshop and finish it out. And it's really easy to use too. That's another thing uh, in the professional kind of bracket what I'm looking at. Is it something I'm gonna have to watch videos about to, to figure out you know, what I'm doing? And I don't want that. I just want something I, that's intuitive that I can jump in, uh, figure out what I'm doing and uh, let it do what I need it to do. Uh, and so that kind of goes along with the next thing I ask myself, is this gonna save me time? And I know how time consuming that can be and specifically this shoot that I'm going to show here uh, has in the past been very time consuming because I'll have to go in and, and retouch each individual image uh, to, the, to then deliver them and so with, with this software you can set up a preset just by going through and retouching one uh, file within a photo shoot and then apply those presets to the rest of the files and output them all at the same time which is a tremendous time saver so instead of going through and, and I've got 25 images here instead of spending 30 minutes per image I can spend and it didn't even take 30 minutes to do what I needed to do so you'll see we'll run through this real quick uh, spend maybe 10 15 minutes on one image save that preset apply it to all the rest of them and output them tremendous time saver so that was really what perked my interest here and then uh, in conjunction with that the pricing uh, what I didn't want to do is have to sign up for another subscription or spend a lot of money on the front end uh, to access software. And so this Avoto software uses a token system. So you're only charged by the files that you export through the software. So there's no subscription, there's no huge upfront cost. That way, you know, if you, I mean, how many of us have bought software in the past, you know, $100 plus, and you might use it two or three times, you know, if that and you're out 150 bucks or so. Uh, this software, as I mentioned, you only are charged when you output images. You can buy uh, tokens in advance if you kind of you know, get in the flow and you have an idea of how many you're gonna use and you can save some money per token that way. Uh, and check their website out, I'll, I'll show it here in just a second uh, where you can find that. And when you sign up, you get a handful of credits and I'll have a link below uh, to the software. Um, and so you can try it out and you don't even have to uh, export anything. You can play around with it, see if it's doing what you need it to do and then uh, go ahead and start exporting uh, and then you're charged it that way. So. There's really no risk. You can see what you're doing. You're not gonna put down a lot of money on the front end. You're not gonna be billed monthly. All wins in my book. So without uh, doing any kind of intros and stuff, let's just jump in. I wanna try to keep this uh, video as short as possible. And we'll take a look at what this software can do. Uh, so I'm gonna hit record on the screen here. And you can see this is the website. Just wanna show y'all. You can download it for Mac, uh, for Windows. Uh, they've got several different kind of demos here where they can show you uh, before and after how the how this software will do. I mean, that's pretty heavy lifting on some of these images. The ones I'm going to show are probably not the, uh, the, <laughs> the ones that you would normally need a heavy lifting uh, software for, but we're going to go ahead and do it anyway. But so it's just you can kind of just see what they have here on the website. Uh, it talks about how you get started. Super easy pricing. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, it's the, the token type system. And then if you know you're gonna be using it a lot in the future, you can pre prepay for some of these tokens and you can see the price drops the more you buy that type of thing. So let's just jump into my project. And when you open it up, it'll have a start project. And all you have to do is drag your images into it. These are raw files from uh, my Canon R5. 
and uh, it just drops in perfectly fine. You can see all the files here line up on the bottom. You can scroll through simply using the arrow keys. Uh, and as you can tell by these files uh, and, and by these uh, dancers, that this is not something that you need heavy lifting. Uh, but it is something where in the past and like with this shoot here, where I would go through and do the retouching that I needed to do. And it is time consuming. And that's where this software came in and is a perfect fit if you're doing this type of work. So let's just jump in here and we'll run through over here and see what this software will do for me. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in. We'll just grab, we'll just work with this first image here. And right over here, you'll see the different adjustment kind of palettes that you'll have access to. And we're gonna start right at the, at the top here. And this is where you can access controls like you would in Camera Raw if you need to do some exposure adjustments and that type of thing, which is great because Last thing I want to do is have to open it up in Camera Raw, make adjustments, save all the files, and then bring them into another software. It's just more of a one-stop shop. So right here, you got your histogram. I like to look at this if I'm doing any kind of adjustments so then I can kind of see uh, what I'm doing. Uh, this next section uh, kind of that you can maybe uh, find, that's not really for me. That's kind of where I was talking about earlier. It's here if you want to do something super quick. Uh, but I'm going to go into like the basic here, and this is where you find uh, your color temperature uh, tint. I mean, it looks very much like Camera Raw exposure. I've got it uh, nicely done here. Uh, just on a side note, my uh, lighting setup for this shoot was very simple. I did a uh, one light setup where I had the 36 inch Manny Ortiz Beauty Dish over the eye lighter. You can kind of see it in her eyes uh, here. And that's basically what I did. And then I had uh, strobes, four strobes hitting uh, my psych wall on the back for this white backdrop. So just to kind of uh, share that with y'all. Uh, the only thing that I'm seeing exposure wise, color wise, because I, I work on that uh, in camera, uh, is just the uniform here is a little bit kind of blown out. So I'm gonna bring the blacks, actually I'm going the wrong way. I'm gonna bring these blacks in a little bit and you can see right in here is kind of where I'm I'm getting this uniform where I want it you can see before and after that's before and then here's after and I'm, I'm digging that it's also kind of bringing in her hair more uh, just a little bit of contrast I was needing and we've got a clarity slider here clarity on here with these types of files I'm probably just gonna keep that at zero on the clarity so overall I really don't have to use too many of these tools here but they are here and that's the important thing. So I'm going to kick out of that. Uh, and you've also got uh, curves, you've got color grading. Uh, so you can really dive in here and do some things. Detail, if we want to bring up the sharpening, don't want to do any of that with these. Uh, grain. Uh, one other thing, so you see these little new uh, tabs by some of these um, filters here. This software, I had it, I think I downloaded it or joined up maybe uh, two, three weeks ago, and they've already updated uh, the software. So they're constantly updating this, adding features. That's really cool, uh, if you ask me. If you need to do any kind of lens correction or color calibration, all that is in here uh, in this um, first uh, adjustment, color adjustments palette. So now we're gonna move over here to the portrait retouching. And right up here, you can see where you can access different, um, I guess, scenarios or, or different groups. So you got male, female. We're obviously in the female here. So we're going to jump into blemish removal. As I mentioned, all these girls are, are really pretty and there's not too much we need to do, but you can see we do have some, some stuff going on here that we can take care of. And we're just going to use this freckle and acne and I'm going to take it all the way over. And you can see what that's doing. I'm going to zoom in and this is before and then this is after. Pretty. Pretty amazing stuff. We, what I look for in a tool like this uh, is if it is just smoothing out everything and taking out all the detail and giving that kind of plasticky look. And this tool is not doing that. We can, I can clearly see pores in her skin. And I'm at 100% over here. And it's, you would not look at this and think uh, oh, they just did some skin smoothing uh, filter. That is, is not the case here, and that is uh, really huge in my book. So I'm gonna dial it back even just a little, because there's some other tools down here that we can use. So you got stuff here if you're doing uh, 
you know, like full body type stuff. I don't need the body blemish. Okay, oily face. So we do have some highlights here, which might, this is very minimal for like a so-called oily face. I'm gonna bring it up just to show y'all what it does. So you can see it takes away those super bright areas, but I like to uh, keep those in and someone, their complexion like this. I mean, it looks natural. You know, I don't wanna lose that dimension uh, that we have going here in this image. So you can see before and after what we're doing so far. Uh, eye wrinkle, this will kind of take out these like crow feet, crow's feet here. This might be for, you know, someone a little bit older <laughs> like myself. Uh, we really don't need it here. I like to keep that natural, for, if I'm being honest. Dark circles, this would be another kind of heavy lifting type item that you would have to access in Photoshop to do this manually back in the old days. Uh, we can take it all the way to 100. I'm more inclined to bring it back to more of the natural realm here. We can see kind of before and after. That's pretty slight, uh, but it is doing a little bit. I'm gonna bring it up to something like a 45 here. So that's before, and then this is after. It's doing a little bit. And I, I just, once again, I, I don't wanna take away uh, what is naturally going on in these photos. Smile lines, uh, let me bring this all the way over. You can see it, it adjusts this area here. I don't feel like that applies too much for, for this. I'm gonna give it just a little bit. We don't have to worry about any neck wrinkles, double chins. Uh, any kind of like stomach stuff. Uh, so we're gonna go down here to the, I'm gonna close this one just for video's sake. Uh, we're gonna go to uh, the skin retouching. And then this right here is another huge step that I normally, if I was doing these like I've done in the past, I would have a 50% gray layer and dodge and burn manually with the brush uh, using uh, white and black on that 50% gray layer and doing the contours of the face. Uh, and that, that's what really kind of takes takes a while to do, but uh, and we'll see right with this slider here, what that does. It removes these other kind of blemishes instantly, and it uh, builds up that dimensionality of the face, and it just looks amazing. Look at that. This is before and after. So that is in, a, in conjunction with the blemish removal up here, and then this uh, smooth, and then this dodge and burn layer right here. All right, so right below that is the face skin smoothing. This is the one that you've got to be careful with. I don't use this one. So right there, you can see where this becomes amateur hour uh, right here. And so I prefer using the combination of the other tools that are in here instead of using this one right here. But you can go down and you have body skin. This will work with your complexion. Uh, right down here, you got different like skin tones. You can <laughs> come in here and do some things uh, and then adjust the amount. We don't need any of that here. Uh, just to kind of show some of this stuff, you can come in, uh, change uh, the facial structure. Not doing any of this with these girls, uh, we don't need to, um, but they are here. Uh, teeth touch up, I will do this a little bit. I mean, she's got great teeth, but I'm just gonna give them a, just a little bump here. You can see if I take it all the way over, we're a little bit neon. Um, and so we're just gonna do just a touch before and after. Pretty teeth, I found this interesting. Uh, I'll click this, you can kind of see, it just kind of fills in <laughs> the teeth there. It's pretty wild. Uh, and it looks pretty natural, but I'm not gonna do that with these girls. Uh, but a neat tool to, to have, and it's pretty subtle. And let's go here with the eyes. This is something that I do, uh, I do really like in this software. Uh, and as you can see, I'm going to dial it all the way up just to show. This is more, it's more of like a, uh, a sharpening as well as slightly brightening. Uh, at 100, it's, it's way too much. But it's still a lot more subtle than some other softwares that I've seen where it just kind of gives you that, that laser eye uh, type look. And we obviously want to avoid that. So just bring it down here. Let's take a look before and after. Those eyes are looking fantastic. So this just makes these, it just gives them a little bit of a contrast and then you can see the whites in them are brought up just slightly. I might actually bring it up just a touch more. There we go. So look at that. That And that, that brings in these catch lights. Pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, another thing, obviously these, these girls have got great makeup. Don't need to, to access that. 
but you can come in here and, and do some more contouring. This is like taking the dodge and burn, maybe one more step forward, uh, which is not so bad on these, to be honest. So I might leave that contouring in here just a little bit. And I'm just gonna show you like highlight. This kind of brings in the brights uh, in certain areas. And there's something that I would normally do in the dodge and burn area where you kind of brighten up the forehead and right over here on the cheeks. And it gives that dimension. Uh, eye makeup brightness. You can kind of you know, play with that. I'm not gonna go in here and adjust the girls' makeup. They have it on here. And below that, there are presets here where if you wanna take it further in another direction, you can, you can try out these presets and then probably play off of these. Once again, these girls, they, they showed up ready for the shoot. Don't need to, to mess with any of that. And then down here, you have like a full body reshape if you need to do that. Obviously, don't need to do that with, with these uh, ladies as well. Let's move, we'll kind of move here and just show some of these other background uh, adjustments that you can, you can do with the software. I obviously was using uh, my white psych wall here. Uh, and so that's what we were shooting for on white. If you need to change your background though, this software will do that for you. It'll also uh, clean up the background if you need to do any kind of uh, cleanup on the background. Uh, and then if you're, sometimes if you're using a color background and you have a light on it, you could get some banding. Uh, you've got this removal tool here, and then you've got a background enhancement tool. So let's take this off. And so like the enhancement, I might use this a little bit. This will probably bring up that white just a little. Uh, but right in here, if you need to take your shoot in a different direction or mix it up, uh, depending on the job, you've got all kinds of options and then there are just multiple, multiple backgrounds uh, in here. Does a great job selecting out your subject as you can see here and uh, switching out the backgrounds if that's what you need to do. Also, if you're doing uh, landscape, you've got sky replacements and other adjustments you can access down in this panel here. That's not what I need to do with these and the main thing in using this software is that once I run through and do these adjustments, I can click down here and save preset. So it will take what I've done to this one image, uh, create a preset that then I can save into a group, and which I've already done here. So my presets panel is right over here. I click this here and I've got my preset right there. So what I can do is access, uh, save that preset, select my image here, and then select all these images and then hit sync. That is the magic of software like this. Then it applies that preset to all these files where you don't have to go and individually uh, apply these changes to each and every one of the files. So let's just real quick before we jump out, I just wanna show this is a before and then this is after and we'll zoom out before and after. And in doing this demo, I probably went a little bit far on this, uh, this file, uh, but it, you can do it as, as minimal or uh, as heavy as you like to do it uh, based off of who you're working with and what they're expecting for an output. When I, like I said, when I used this software uh, last week, or I think it was the week before, it just it did the job for me, saved me hours of work. And after confirming kind of my results with some other photographers who have used this software, I figured I would make a video and share it with y'all. So uh, there, like I said before, there's a link down below. And if you feel like uh, this video was helpful in any way, please hit that thumbs up. If you wanna see more content just like this in the future, hit that subscribe button uh, down there and the little bell so YouTube will let you know uh, when I'm back on here. If you got any more comments or questions, uh, drop those down below as well. And in the meantime, y'all can find me uh, on social media, uh, on Instagram at Quants Photo and uh, X. It's cracked me up. And at uh, Prolight Mods on Instagram. Y'all please stay safe and healthy out there, and I will be here soon again in the next one. <laughs>